This is KCCK's Culture Crawl. I'm Dennis Green, and my guest today is Darren Crow, known more familiarly or up and down the corridor at this time of year as Edgar Allan Poe himself. <laughs> Darren, welcome. Thanks. It's great to be here. You've been touring a uh, an uh, one-man Edgar Allan Poe show called, and I love the title, Morbid Curiosities. For as long as I've known you, matter of <laughs> fact, matter of fact, we may have met when you did came in to do an interview, <laughs> the very so. first year you did it, which is how many? Twenty years ago this year. That's amazing. Yeah, it uh, you know, and Cheka out at Usher's Ferry Historic Village, and I we were looking for some programming to do that fall, and I said, hey, I like Poe. Let's do some Edgar Allan Poe. Because at Usher's Ferry, it was, you know, which was a turn, you know, a turn of the century village. Mm-hmm. It was having Edgar Allan Poe at yeah. Halloween time was right in line with, you know, the historical mission. Absolutely. And, uh, and, you know, they're still carrying on with good Halloween programming out there. I think Safe Halloween for Kids is probably coming up somewhere in the next weekend here. But you have kind of made a little bit of a cottage industry of performing as... <laughs> Performing Poe's work, I kind, have, of as, kind of as Poe. You kind of, absolutely. you kind of, you kind of come on stage as Edgar Allan Poe. Yes, yeah. It's all in first person, so it is Poe talking about his life and then sharing some of his best stories and poems. One of the things I love about the piece is that uh, it, I, I perform one of the comedies, and nobody ever reads Poe's comedies. Um, and the Angel of the Odd is essentially a a long drunk story. <laughs> it's a big tall tale about what happens when you drink too much. Okay. Which Poe knew all about. So <laughs> so you've been, actually, this is toward the end of your tour, but you've been really busy this month. Tell me about all the places you've been. Oh, man, I have been <laughs> kind of all over the state, um, from Fairfield to Sioux Center to Cherokee to Decorah, Winterset, beautiful downtown Dayton, all wow. over the place. Wow. Has the program changed at all over 20 years? You know, every so often I do add or take away a little bit, especially from the biographical information, because there's there's new stuff that we learn about Poe e- even every few years. And so, yeah, there's, there's a little bit that changes here and there. How do kids react to one guy dressed in kind of old-fashioned clothes telling, you know, kind of some slow, I'm going to say slowly, but, you know, slowly in... You know, in terms of kids who are brought up on YouTube videos, fast cuts, lots of music, things moving really fast. But, you know, literally just kind of, you know, sitting down and listening to one person, not even reading to them, but actually telling them, telling them a story. You know, it, it is something because it is an incredibly low tech performance piece. There, there is no, no video, no sound, no nothing. And it's awesome to see adults, teenagers, young people just go. Last night uh, in Decorah at the library, there was uh, a mom, though there were a couple of smaller kids there who were probably, I don't know, 10, 11, and it was awesome to come to important lines in a piece and see the little girl's eyes just go, whoa. That's that's a good moment <laughs> yep. right there. That's that's why you do it. Yeah. It, it's fun. In Sioux Center Monday night, I was, I was going away to town on one of the stories, and there was a lady sitting on the front row who must have known the pieces really well because she was saying the words right along. Wow. (laughs) And that's just, it's neat when you know these pieces have a pretty deep connection with people because we start learning them in junior high when we first read Poe, and they stick with us for the rest of our life. Well, recording this, we're recording on uh, Wednesday the 23rd. So tell me what the remainder of your performance schedule is. And others, I know there's kind of a big local show at Giving Tree Theater on Saturday, but you have a few others as well. Yeah, you bet. Tonight, I'm going over to Maquoketa. So I'll be at the Maquoketa Library at uh, 630 tonight. Tomorrow night, uh, Thursday the 24th, at the Asbury Branch of the Dubuque County Public Library um, at 630. And Friday night in Anamosa at the Public Library at 7. Okay. And then Saturday in Marion. Saturday in Marion at, at 7 Tree, o'clock at Giving Tree. Giving yeah. Tree Theater. Is uh, that kind of a general admission thing? Do you encourage people to get tickets in advance? I mean, you know, the, the first show on October 6th sold really, really well, and it filled up pretty fast. So head out to their website, givingtreetheater.com, and you can get tickets ahead of time. But you can... We'll try to squeeze you in if you show up okay. at the door, too. And anything after Saturday? I mean, it is Halloween week. It, it is. I, I head further off, oh, Monday, um, at North Liberty. At 4.30, 
at the North Liberty Library, Mr. Poe and Raven will be telling scary stories for small people. And nice. then at 6 o'clock for the adults, we'll bring on morbid curiosities. You be, you're so appearing with Raven. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll pull out the stuffed crow kids, puppet, yeah, and it'll be say, exciting. I was going to say, kids and animals. Don't you know what they say? Kids and animals. Never before. Yeah. Safely, a safely, safely a stuffed raven. It'll look at the small people and say, mm, your eyes look tasty. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, there, you know, of course, the pieces that you perform, I know, are of varying length. Some of them are, you know, are, are fairly long, but there are a couple of short ones. Can you do a little short one for our audience right now? You a little preview? The- the, the show opens with a piece called Alone, which Poe wrote in 1829 when he was 20 years old. And here's how it goes. From childhood's hour, I have not been as others were. I have not seen as others saw. I could not bring my passions from the common spring. And from the same source, I have not taken my sorrows. I could not rouse my heart to joy at the same tone. And all I've loved, I've loved alone. And then... In childhood, in the dawn of a most stormy life, was drawn in me from all the depths of good and ill, the mystery which binds me still, from the torrent and the fountain, from the red cliff of the mountain, from the sun that round me rolled in its autumn tint of gold, from the lightning in the sky as it passed me, flashing by, from the thunder and the storm, and the cloud that took the form when the rest of heaven was blue, of a demon in my view. That's a pretty good piece of poetry right there. <laughs> Darren Crow from Morbid Curiosities, which is, uh, let's see, uh, so uh, so Thursday, then Friday is Animosa, mm-hmm. and uh, Marion at the Giving Tree Theater on Saturday at 7 p.m., and then an all-ages show followed by Morbid Curiosities in North Liberty on Monday. Um, Darren, thanks so much for being here. Oh, it's always a pleasure. Thanks, man. So great to ha- so great to have you here to celebrate <laughs> the 20th anniversary of this awesome show. And I hope you have uh, big crowds and and scare li- scare and uh, thrill kids of all ages. <laughs> thanks so much. You can hear the Culture Crawl live on the radio most weekdays, 10:20 a.m. on KCCK, or download the video podcast. Watch or listen on your own schedule using your favorite podcast app or at kcck.org/culture. I'm Dennis Green.